party after party after party after party yeah party after party yeah party after party yeah party after hi guys welcome back to my channel <laughs> so depressing to say but what go on this setup is irking me okay let me start again hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel first of all i was gonna say merry christmas wow how dumb can you be <laughs> um happy new year first of all i just want to say a massive thank you to what sorry i just need my eyelashes done look this my lash appointment is my lash appointment is next week y'all bitches ain't fuck with me on your worst day and that's all period no but first i want to say massive thank you to sort of i can't talk today massive thank you to the support that i have got regarding the prank and me in general like i've got so much good feedback i know you lot love the fam i know you lot love the fam i'm trying to get the fam back on my channel um like at one point i was thinking fuck it should i make it like a whole like channel where it's just us but no this is my channel this is my success this is the one thing i've got to myself hello like the girl got braids or whatever i mean you know that conspiracy of oh boys don't like brains and whatever i don't give a fuck i don't give a fuck because i don't even like boys <laughs> like so that, not like that but i'm just saying like i just we all hate men at one stage and i'm at that stage anyway beautiful people sorry i feel like really discombob with like my eyelashes right now because i just feel like i just look like shit but anyway it's locked down at least i've got my hair done you lot should be fucking grateful right let's go into the video today so today is gonna be a story time you i feel like you are gonna judge me on this story time but i don't give a fuck because you lot can't judge me in it you can't beat me the moral of the story basically do not like one don't move on too quick don't do rebounds don't do anything of that sort because hello you will find yourself in some fucking shit like i did and i'm even in my house clothes but you know i like you guys to feel like you know me so i've just like done it in you know my house clothes and my eyelashes falling out and you know me at my worst state <laughs> but that doesn't matter and this is basically a time where I went on a date with someone, but it was definitely like definitive rebound. And I feel really bad saying this because the person is gonna know I'm talking about them. And this isn't this isn't anything like this is not me bashing you or nothing. Like I'm still calling it, but I just need to say the story time <laughs> because people need to like know what they're fucking doing i wish someone done a story time before i i went on this date but yeah it was 2018 um a bit of a back a background story it was kind of like october march time october march time as well it was kind of october november times um this guy had asked me on a date wait hold on, hold on. so it was october november times and basically i had just broken up you know them talking stages but it feels like a breakup we all know them just sharp them talking stages that feel like a breakup so i had just broken up with the love of my life at the time cool so i had just broken up with him whatever and you know like you have that guy that is just persistent like just won't leave you alone sort of thing like is there throughout everything and they didn't even know that you're going through something those are the worst those are the worst, I'm sorry, those are the fucking worst, like, <laughs> those niggas that are there, like, you could text them, and they're there, like, they are there, you, oh, they're just there, they're just there, you know what I'm talking about, they're just there, so, I, me and Donnie had finished whatever call, and then this guy was there, whatever, and then, um, I told him, no, 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 I wasn't, like, I wasn't that bad in it, I told him that, yeah, I had just gone through a breakup, whatever, cool. Then he was like, I know how breakups go, blah, blah. And I was just thinking, shut the fuck up. You don't know anything. You don't know anything, <laughs> like, literally. But anyway, he's told me, yeah, I know how breakups go, whatever, cool. So I'm thinking in my head, you don't know anything. You don't know me. Like, 
to just shut up in it. Yeah, so then I might say him, you know, anything. But I didn't say it to him, but I was just thinking, yeah, like, you know, blah, blah. Anyway, so then um, what happened now? There was one night where, like, I said I was hungry. We was on the phone and I, I was like, I'm mad hungry. But it was like 2 a.m. in the morning. Obviously, this was all before Corona. So you could actually still get delivery at that time. And it would be like a decent delivery, not like chicken and chips. But that just contradicted it because I remember we was on the phone for time looking for stuff to eat. And then he was like, I'm going to have to order you um, chicken and chips because there's nothing to Like, there's nothing open at this time that will deliver to your house. I was like, yeah, I'll take anything. I feel really bad doing this story time. I was like, yeah, I'll just take it. Like, I'll take I'll take anything. And it was fucking free food at 2 a.m. I was like, I'm gonna take it. So he started he ordered me six wings, then he ordered me a whole chicken and ordered me this, this. Cause I hadn't been eating. You know how breakups go, hello girls. You don't eat, you don't steep. You just want that boy back immediately. Like, what? Oh, well. So I was not eating in it. I had not eaten for about three days. So he was like, and he knew this because obviously he was there. Like he was the person I was confiding in. So he knew everything was going on. So he was like, no, you need to eat. You need to eat. So he's ordered me a whale of food now. The food's come. Even my brother's looking at me like, when do you spend this much money on food? I was thinking, don't, don't watch me. Watch your hungry belly and yourself. But you're not getting none of this food. First of all, hello, people order food for me and you're watching me be gone yeah that was that was like that's like a little backlog in it but obviously i need to tell you the whole story if you sort to get everything that i'm going to say in it so cool that was one night now so he's like to me, next day wake up cool he's sending morning messages all this all that i'm just thinking i just want my boyfriend back like nothing is doing it i'm going to work i'm thinking about him everything i'm doing i'm thinking about him in it cool so then Donny has now said to me, I want to take you out on a date. I said, okay, like, you know, if you want to, like, you can sort of thing. So he was like, oh, where do you, where, what, he was like, what cuisine do you like? Nah, sorry. When a boy says to you stuff like, what do you like and stuff like that, that's someone that really likes you. That is someone that really, because they're like, they're taking, in, they're taking initiative. They're being attentive they're caring it's a king but it's, i'm a king we need it's not it's not a king that i needed i don't i don't want a king i want a gunman i want darren oh the story's getting so good <laughs> i feel so bad doing this so yeah he asks what cuisine i like whatever so i have to move the yeah that's more better it's more in the middle um he asks me what cuisine i liked and I was just like I'm, I'm a person that i'm i'm a free eater in it i don't i don't really there's not really things that i don't like but i don't really like burgers like i feel like that's not an actual meal like <sighs> actual meals like rice pasta all them things like a burger and chips is not a meal to me in it so i was like anything but burgers so then um i can't remember what restaurant we went to was it ping pong I can't remember what restaurant it went to, but it was an Asian restaurant and it was in Shoreditch. So I've now got ready for the day. And then I've obviously this is when I was driving in it. So I've texted him saying, yeah, I'm on my way there now. Um, I've met him there. <laughs> Donny has come in. Canada Goose and Mary Jeans looking crisp to the nines you know and i'm not a, i'm not a, a materialistic person in it you could come in a boohoo tracksuit i don't care because i'm not here for that in it and i'm not definitely not here for your money because i've actually got my own these times obviously I, i've never like not saying that i've never been broke but if i if i haven't got it at the time i won't leave my house in it so i'm not gonna go on a date and first of all expect you to pay because niggas these days they, <laughs> they're shocking people and they're just sitting there like like how we sit there on our phone when the bill comes and say hello if i've not got money in my account i'm not leaving so everything that he was like you could see that he dressed to impress but this was not impressing me because first of all like the person that i was crying over didn't even dress like this do you get it so it was just like you're doing the most and he's not doing anything and him still have my art i'm so sorry but nah that was it in it. So Donnie has come in it like goose. Was he wearing a goose? I think he was either wearing a goose or a moose knuckles in it. One of them expensive coats. Now 
He's calm looking like a dawn dapper. Cool. He's called me. I can see your car. I'm outside. I'm waiting for you. I'm like, oh, yeah, yeah. So my best friend at the time, I've called her like, right, like, I'm going on a date, blah, 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 blah. And he's like, yeah, just go, man, just go. Cool. So then now, um, I've I've gone there now. And I'm like, hi. <laughs> you know like in the car yeah i was thinking to myself i need to put on a brave face because i seriously do not want to be here i don't want to be anywhere at my house like oh i just i just i just didn't want to be anywhere like i just wanted to be depressed in my bed that's it but obviously if you insist you want to go on a date let's go on a date let's get this over and done with <laughs> like I've, I've gone on a date like i've gone to work you know it's just shift pattern done deal with it I met him at the door. He's opened the door for me. I'm thinking, oh, this boy likes me. Like, I feel bad. Like, I'm thinking, oh, this nigga is in love. Like, he likes me. Cool. He's opened the door now. So that's already a tick. But obviously, it's a tick in, like, hindsight, in it. But for what I'm seeing it as, it's not a tick because you're not him in it. So cool. He's opened the door now. That's a tick. So he's like, oh, yeah, I've got a reservation for two, blah, blah, blah. The woman's taking us to their seat now. Oh, sorry, I missed out a crucial bit of the date. Cool. So that night after he um, ordered me food. Th no, sorry. The, the night he ordered me food, before he ordered me food, he had been telling me that, oh, uh, he's got... No, 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 no. I remember he shouted me in the day and he was like, what size are you? I said, what do you mean? He said, what size are you? I said, what, do, like, in what? What What do you mean? What size am I? He said, in everything. I can't lie. I've never had a boy say this to me. So, it was weird. I was thinking to myself, why do you need to, like, you're a creep. Fam. Like, I was thinking, you are a creep. Anyway, he asked what size I am. I said, why? He was like, oh, because I'm in Westville, you know, blah, blah. Thought, oh, okay. Yeah, what's food, yeah? <laughs> okay, I answered. Oh, yeah? Yeah, what's food, yeah? Um, yeah, he's like, what size are you? He said, he's in Westwood. I said, oh, okay. I, I'm not about to say, oh, yeah. Buy me. Who? Cool. So you said you're in Westwood. I'm going to leave you and your Westfield alone. Cool. You've now come home now. You've shouted me again. Oh, I got you something so No, 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 no. Okay, okay. So he's now ordered the food later on in the in the thing. Next day now he shouted me, Let's go on a date. So I said, okay. So say like he ordered the food the Monday. The Tuesday, he said, Let's go on a date. The Thursday now, he's messaged me. That no, we've planned a date for the Saturday. So the Thursday now he's messaged me talking about, Oh, I can't wait to see you on the day. Um, I got you a present. So I said, what present? What, what, what is the present? Like, what what could you possibly get me? I'm going through a heartbreak and you're buying me stuff. Have some class. Like, what the f Fam, I was so discombob because I was thinking, you're so selfish. You're making, <laughs> you're making my breakup about you. Us, in fact. Oh, I was disgusted. No, I wasn't disgusted on me dramatic, but. I was just like, please, let me, let me live in it. So he's banging on about this gift, this gift, this gift. I'm not saying that the gift enticed me to go on the date, but he said it was a surprise, in it? So I'm just thinking, what could you possibly have got to me that is going to put a smile on my face, innit? Cool. So fast forward now, the lady showed us the table, but um, I wasn't really hungry because obviously I was depressed, so... I was having about one meal a day, not even finishing it. So from when I had the meal at lunch, I was done for the day. So me going on this date was pretty pointless because I weren't hungry. The woman showed us the menu. So I remember that I ordered a cocktail. And then, no, 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 I didn't order a cocktail. I ordered a juice. And he said, do you not want a cocktail? Do you want to fuck me? Like, what is your problem? Are you trying to get me drunk? So... I ordered juice in it because me, I'm not, I'm not an alcoholic. I don't, I don't like alcohol in it. I like, I don't, I don't really fuck with it. So I'm not going to order a, co a cocktail. So then he's looked at me like, do you not want a cocktail? I'm like, no, nah, like I'm good. He's like, no, nah, man, order a cocktail, you know. And he's like, oh, it's on me. Like I'll treat you, blah, blah. Cause you haven't been eating. 
I thought to myself, don't take my kindness for weakness. Like, don't take what I've told you into consideration and think you can be the one to change my mood. You can't. It's him. Like, it is him. So, um, I remember that I ordered food now. I think I, it was it was something like sticky coconut chicken or whatever with sticky rice. Don't ask me how I remember that, but I, I remember it in it. Cool. So he's ordered me that now. I took taken two bites. I'm full. I'm full. Donnie over there is eating like he's never eaten before. Full so you're not thinking it's just your money, of course. So you do what you want. Cool. Meanwhile, I've looked over my phone. Did my man not text me? Hello, my boyfriend, boyfriend, my husband texted me when I was out with an ex-man. Like, are you, like, <laughs> you see when this happens, yeah, your head just scatters. Like, as a girl, your head scatters, man, because you'll be thinking Donnie is outside, like, he can see me on this date. He can feel me on this date. I can't remember what Donnie texted me, but I think he was basically like, you good. But obviously, he was very patronising like, and manipulative. So you're going to see this in the story time. Cool. So he's now said to me, he's now, he's now texting me now. And obviously, my, my concentration has diverted to my husband because I'm thinking he wants me back. Like, <laughs> he wants me back. Oh, I'm texting, texting. So then this one's talking to me. And then every time, every, everything he's saying, like, obviously I'm not hearing him in it because I'm on my phone. So I'm like, huh? Huh? So then um, he's just like to me, oh, um, I think it's gift time. It's funny how I heard that, isn't it? <laughs> it's funny how I heard that. It's funny how you heard it was gift time, Chanel, after you've been texting bitches while out on a date with me. Hello. So now... He's like, oh, I think it's gift time. I'm like, mm, yeah, mm. <laughs> what have you got me? Like, what have you got me? Blah, blah. So he's like, close your eyes. I forget, okay, abracadabra. I'll close my eyes. The fuck? Like, ain't nothing for me to close my eyes. Like, don't, like, don't tell me what to do. I'll close my eyes if I want to close my eyes. <laughs> so then I've closed my eyes now. You know, like, I'm thinking, like, is a giraffe going to come out? Like, what's happening here? Like, you're, like the anticipation, my anxiety. <sighs> so, he's like, close your eyes. I'm thinking, like, cool, I'm closing my eyes. But these times, I remember what I was thinking. I was thinking, I need to reply to this text because anyhow, Donnie wants to link me. I'm essing out. So, my eyes are like this, yeah, but I'm like, dude. <laughs> I was so thinking, brother hurry up and say what you need to like hurry up and show me what you need to show me so i can go like literally so my eyes are closed now he's like open i wish i could show you guys he bought me a ring he bought me a ring on the first date like i don't get it <laughs> you see like when i made that joke about do you want to fuck me because you want to order alcohol no he wants to marry me he wanted to marry me he said, Chanel, I just feel like you're just so special. And I just, like, everything you do, it just, just, like... I can't remember the words he used, obviously, because it was so long ago. And I obviously did not care to, to remember. But um, he was just like, yeah, you just... Like, everything you do, it's just that like, you're just so pretty. And you're just such a lovely person. And I just want you to be loved. And I just want to love you. And... And I'm just thinking to myself, really? You just shouldn't have done this. You should not have done this. Because I'll agree to go again. I'll cross out for red. I'll cross out for red. Because what are you doing? You are doing way too much. Donnie bought me a ring. Like, an actual ring and said, yeah. Like. He bought me a ring and said, yeah. Like, this is what I'm going to give her. This, she will love this a ring okay cool after you've bought me the ring now i kind of have to think to myself how am i gonna break it to you that stuff is not like this because i'm not one of these girls that's gonna lead you on in it for you, for your money and diamonds and chains and ring and all sand land but i'm not gonna do that because i have my own and i don't need you for anything in it so before you think that i do and all of that gets like let's just nip it in the bud from here pal 
I'm like, oh my gosh, thank you so much. But why did, like, I'm like, why did you get me this? Like, you didn't have to, blah, blah. If a girl say you did not have to, that means you did not have to, fam. No lay lay, as in you did not have to do it. Like, you did not have to do it. Like, do you get it? Do you get, it's, it's literally, like, there's no sarcasm. There's, there's no nothing. If a girl shows you you didn't have to do something, do not do it. Like, don't, like, you're probably looking at it. It's like, why is she shouting? But I don't think you get it, man. I don't think you get it. If I show you that you did not have to do something, why would you go out your way to do it? This is not going to get you brownie points. Like, oh, I could not believe. I could not believe you done this. Like, you, you are probably thinking you're so ungrateful. It's not ungrateful because it's not like me and him are dealing in it and I like him. I don't like you. Me and you are not. This is the first date. You, If I say you did not have to do it, you did not have to do it because now you're overdoing it. Like, do you get it? Just bake. I'm like to him, you didn't have to do this, blah, blah, blah. As soon as I'm trying to be sympathetic to this one, my husband has now texted me, where are you? <laughs> Let's rewind back to the Valentine's Q&A. <laughs> yeah? Let's rewind back to my Valentine's Q&A. You see when I made that statement about linking 20? That's the type of talk that I'm talking about. And that's the type of talk my husband was talking, belling down my line. Hello? Where are you? I don't want to hear any no I don't want to hear nothing. He did not he don't didn't want to hear about how how I was. He didn't want to hear how my day was going, what I was doing at the time. He wanted to know my location. Period. He wanted to know my location. He said, "Where are you?" <laughs> By that time, I was gone. By that time, I was essing out, bro. I'll cut the the sympathetic Thing that's going on in front of me and i've gone to reply but obviously because me and him are not on good terms i'm not thinking i'm not gonna let you have me on a string in it so i've just told donnie i'm out oh you're out <laughs> you know like when it was a thing where you think you can disobey your master like that i know that's what he was speaking because two days ago you was you was begging me for us to be together and now all of a sudden you're out and you're this boss bitch and you don't have the this is your advice people say nothing this boy knew exactly how to <laughs> chirp my birds <laughs> um so cool i thought i was big on bold i saw where you i replied out o-u-t dot finish leave me alone cool back to the date now so then he was like, he's gone back to his speech now. He's talking about, oh, yeah, Chanel, I just, I just want you to be loved because you've been through so much and I know your ex and he hurt you and blah, 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 and blah, blah. And at this point, I was hearing it because I thought to myself, obviously, I'm bad enough to tell Donnie I'm out, yeah? I don't need him. Not saying that I'm going to be with you, but I don't I don't need him, innit? I'm strong. I've got a man proposing to me and that, fam. I don't, I, I don't care about you, fam. Like, I was thinking... I don't care about you. I've got a man proposing to me. Like, you move, man. Like, I was like, move. I thought I was nice. Donnie came to done my dance. Ah. Oh. Donnie came to done my dance. So this one's all spitting bars. I just want you to know how I feel about you. Blah, blah, blah. Huh? My husband has responded to my out message. <laughs> he said, you're out, yeah? He replied, he's like, Chanel, tell me where the fuck you are right now before I get mad. <laughs> I've never looked at a message with so much. And thought, fuck, I am in trouble. <laughs> I thought to myself, fuck, I am in trouble. What? Like, when I looked at that, I didn't even know what to say. Like, my hands was like this. Like, I was thinking to myself, oh, my hands are dry. My hands was like, I was in awe. Is that is that awe? I, I was in awe because I was thinking to myself, fuck me, fam. I'm you say, who the fuck do I think I am? Talking like this to my husband. This is this is why Henry the Eighth's wife's head got chopped off because of this attitude. I thought I was bad out to someone that you're in love with. He texts back immediately and said, if you don't fucking send me a location right now, fam, it's going off. Real Darren style. <laughs> 
Real Darren style, real gully with it. I said, yeah. I'm looking at this thing in one thinking, how the fuck am I going to get out of this? He's talking to me. He has stopped talking to me. And, he, and obviously, the last thing he said, he was like, yeah, and I know your ex treated you well. And obviously, I saw that message. This is all happening in 20 seconds. I saw the message. And then he's gone to me. That's him right now, ain't it? I, you see how that side I just done? I just done a bigger one than that, mate. I just sighed and said, yeah. Like, <laughs> I just sighed and said, yeah, because, brother, yeah, fam, yeah. Like, you know, yeah, you know how young Vinny says, yeah, man. Like, that's literally what was going on right now, fam. I thought to myself, it's done, like, this date is done. My man is done with me. You're done with me. I'm done out. Like, I'm done. I'm done. I ain't got nothing left to be. I'm done. I'm like, yeah. And then I was like, he was like, don't let him ruin what we got. I said, what? Is this nigga still going? Like, what? Like, what? Well, half a dookie, fam. Like, I'm thinking to myself, oh, bro, big. You're doing too much. You want to marry me? first date you don't you don't know nothing about me you don't know nothing about me and then you have the audacity to now disrespect me i'm a man you don't have any incline of what's going on in my head right now and you you ain't about to know either you're dead you're done so after that now i'm thinking to myself nah man like this date is actually done i'm like you know what i don't i don't i'm not really feeling this date and he's like what do you mean you're not feeling it? i said i'm not feeling it gosh i've got a lot on my plate right now i've got a lot on my head yeah i've just fucked up my marriage again for you <laughs> like do you get it it's not working out it is not working out like it's not working out um he was like to the way oh yeah oh yeah can i get the bill please and i was like like the bill came and then i was like do you want me to pay because i just felt so bad because i thought to myself like he really thought he was getting something tonight <laughs> Like, I, I, <laughs> he at least thought he was getting a yes from his wedding proposal. Like, what the fuck? Like, I was so confused as to how you can go to a jeweler and say yes. I don't know if the ring was real. I don't know if the ring was fake. But for you to even think to yourself, for, for if you to even think to yourself, yeah, let me get this girl a ring. And when I give her this ring, it's going to mean something. That is a very mad fool. And I should not be crossing your fault process when you take them the tart. So, um, he's got the bill now. And I'm like, do you want me to pay? He's like, no, it's fine. I'm like, all right, cool. Say nothing. I'm such a boy sometimes. Like, honestly, I'm such a boy. Um, I dropped him to the station, innit? Because I felt bad. And then um, I was like, message me when you get home. Because obviously I was driving home. like, So I was going to get home fine. But he was getting home on public transport. This is what I'm saying, public transport and you, you're Canada goose. I'm sorry. Your priorities are not straight. Like, your priorities are not straight. Remember, as soon as I've dropped him off now, I've called my husband because, hello, I need to now beg for my marriage back. I need to tell him that I was at a cousin's house as to why I didn't pick up the fucking phone. Because he even called me. He called me twice. After he said, send me his location, I remember he called me twice. My phone was on do not disturb. And obviously, I, I took him out of favourites. When you take someone out of favourites, that really, because it really grinds my gear, so I know it grinds others. You took me out of favourites, so now I can't get through to you. So I'm not as important as I was before. Are you fucking dumb? Cool. Gone to call my husband. Oh, it was World War Three, and the moral of the story is we did not get back together. But I thought that I, I had bagged it, fam. I thought that. Oh my gosh, my friends are probably watching the story time. Like, when? Who are you talking about? When did this happen? I didn't tell you so because that it was not relevant. Like the person that went on the date with was not relevant enough to tell you. But the person that. The, the the husband, they're going to know exactly who I'm talking about because I was in love with this person the whole of 2018. Hello. Yeah, that's it, guys. Make this a mo make this a lesson. Do not move on too quick. Don't move on too quick. Don't do rebounds. Heal. <laughs> Don't let a nigga fall in love with you that much to the point 
he's buying new rings anyway guys i'm off i just wanted to do a quick story time obviously i know you lot love vlogs and that and uh, my family i'll try getting them back on and whatever and obviously the vlogs is going to be harder because we're in lockdown but i'm trying to be as creative as i can so remember to like comment and subscribe hopefully next time you guys see me like i'll have some i'll have my lashes done so i won't be i won't look like gappy ranks with my nah shout out gappy ranks anyway it's a real it's a real general <laughs> but yeah remember to like comment and subscribe guys and i'll see y'all hoes in december party after party after party after party party after